there's an AI great power competition between the US and China. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to start in 2017, where China launched its next generation AI plan, okay. which said it was going to lead the world in AI by 2030. Uh, they're famous for their five year plans. Right. And Xi Jinping uh, said that advanced tech is the sharp weapon of modern states. Yeah, that's and, true. In 2021, what was interesting is the U.S. National Security Commission on AI, which was chaired by uh, the former Google CEO, Eric Schmidt, warned that American dominance in AI was not guaranteed. So we already have this setup of, of that friction. Wow. Now, Biden era was the first administration to take policy in earnest in terms of AI specifically. Okay. Biden signed the CHIPS Act. Yeah, the CHIPS Act. $250 billion bipartisan bill aimed at boosting U.S. semiconductor manufacturing and innovation. $2.7 billion in supplemental appropriations that was specific to semiconductor related programs. Okay. The idea being that it was also going to create guardrails preventing recipients like Intel and TSMC uh, from expanding their advanced fabs in China. So we can see the theory of the case here was, can we create a choke point at the hardware level? Mm -hmm. Because these chips were viewed at the time as being the key aspect of the stack that was going to be the driver of progress right. and, and innovation. And TSMC is in Taiwan, which yes. is like now iffy if, it's, if China's going to do something, right? The October 7th controls were established, export controls. Now, this was a restriction on exports of specific NVIDIA and AMD right. chips, the uh, H100s. H100s, A100s, and the AMD MDI yeah. MI250s. Uh, we, have a whole, we have a small yard, mm -hmm. high fence. Yeah. Uh, so throughout 2023, now we're going out to our allies uh, all across the world to sort of expand that tightening. So this included uh, in the Netherlands with uh, ASML, and right. in Japan with Nikon and Tokyo Electron, blocking them for, for, from providing China access to their lithography tools, which yeah. are used to actually build and generate these more advanced chips. Yeah. Uh, so this is all background leading up to the Sputnik moment for China, which is in January of this year, uh, 2025, when the Chinese startup DeepSeek released their R1 model, which was claiming at the time a chat GPT four level reasoning yeah. on NVIDIA H 800s. Yes. The, the not good chips, the not good chips. Yeah. Uh, you at what we now understand to be a sub $300,000 training cost. The That's amount crazy. of money that Anthropic, uh, open AI, uh, meta has raised to train grok to train their foundation models is in the order of tens of millions, hundreds of millions of dollars. Yeah. So these are, this is an, Orders of magnitude, Orders of magnitude difference. Yeah.